Scooter has been around the world for many years and is getting more popular. So today I received a special package from Emotion. It's the new model called Emotion L9. As they said, this will step up the scooter game to the next level. Mark, who has been a cyclist for many years, uh, to join me in this test. We're gonna give it a try and see how it feels. Hi everyone, this is Mark. He is a professional cyclist for many years. So, and today we have another kind of two wheels in here. It's called Emotion L9. It's a scooter right. from Emotion. And uh, we just bring you here, try to see as a professional cyclist, will this scooter actually compel you? I'm kind of like a lazy person, Carl. Uh, when I was in the US, because you know, like the United States, it's really hard to, to get on the bus. Uh, and also, it doesn't go on slopes. Like, you know, San Francisco, we got yeah, like you have to push slope. it. You have you to have push, to push it, it yourself. Actually, um, this one is really interesting because it's got the most competitive mileage in the market. It can run 59 miles on a single charge. 59. 59. What else does it have? And also, it has a top speed of 25 miles per hour. 25 miles. I've recently made a new record for myself. I've sustained 30 kilometers per hour, like uh, 18 miles per hour for 30 minutes. I got home and I kept I kept breathing like a like a vacuum cleaner okay. <laughs> for another 15 minutes. Okay, this one I can easily go on that speed for <laughs> like infinite hours, like two hours, three hours. There's no problem. Okay. And also this one can clap mountains. It can go hill climb. I think 30 degrees, according to you say. 30 That's degrees. It's no, that's a lot. That's a lot. Are you interested to go out to test it out? Let's go and try it. Let's go and try it. Today, we are going to review the new Emotion Air 9 scooter with a range up to 59 miles, which is 90 kilometers and a 1000 watt motor. The scooter is built for daily commuting and long distance ride. Before we see how it performs and compares to other personal transportation, I will firstly throw my initial impression of the scooter. I have ride electric scooter for many years. The first thing I noticed is how much larger and sturdier it compares to other scooters. The wheels are larger, the stirrups are taller, and the deck is so much wider even compared to my old favorite Segway My Boat Max. The Air Knight features both front and rear suspension. Remember, this scooter is built to take long rides. The wide standing area and two suspension system can be a great help to deliver a comfortable ride experience. The dashboard is big, clear, and bright. The build is really sturdy. You don't hear any squeaky noise when you ride or standing on a scooter. The folding mechanism is an easy two-step operation. Hold the safety button, pull down the latch, and fold. The locking mechanism is in the center, so when you lift it up, the weight won't be shifting left or right. One thing we notice instantly at night is the light. The front light is really bright. And what makes the difference is the L9 got two auto sensing lights looks like a lightsaber that will automatically switching from blue to red blinking, which indicates your turning directions. Okay, enough for the appearance. Let's cut straight into the road test. Today we have five sections in the road test. Acceleration top speed, brake test, climb test, suspension test. The last one we will test it on the wet road conditions. And we also bring two other players in the test. Player number one, Segway Nibel Max, the best selling e scooter in 2019 with a 40 miles range. And also my daily commuting for now. And player number two is Mark's custom built bike. First, we're gonna do a straight road acceleration test. The road is roughly 160 feet long. That's about 50 meters. And we're gonna do two rounds of test. And here's the result. Let's look at the slow-mo. When racing with Mark, Emotional and I definitely beat him in the acceleration. From this angle, you can see the scooter is actually flitting out of frame when Mark is just about to start. But in the second half, Mark's hard training started to kick in and almost beat emotion because the emotion is only half 80 miles per hour speed limit. While racing with Nibold Max, 
The answer is quite obvious. Both on sports mode, but the Emotion Air 9 is way faster than the 9V Max. The 1000 watt motor really got the torque for acceleration. So Air 9 is the winner for acceleration test, but Mark is definitely the winner of the top speed. You know, machine cannot beat human. Second, we're gonna test on the brake and the brake distance. The Emotion features two ways to brake. The digital EBS brake that also regenerate energy and a drum brake at the rear wheel. In this test, we're gonna compare the L9 to Mark's custom built bike. His custom bike is using a Shimano 105 brake. These are really good brakes for bikes. If you are a two-wheeler, you know what I'm talking about. We will try to hit the same speed and start to brake at the same time. And here's the result. Let's look at the slow-mo. Both vehicles almost stop at the same brake distance, but the motion is surely more stable to the EBS brake. From this angle, you can see the bike's rear wheel already left the ground because we are braking so hard. So I think you can expect the safe brake experience from L9. The guy from Emotion told us that L9 can conquer a 30 degree hill climb with ease. We will also separate the two groups. The L9 will be first versus the Mark and L9 will versus Nibel Max. And let's see the result. Looking at a slow-mo, competing with Mark, L9 definitely beat him in the beginning. From this angle, you can see that in first half, the Emotion has a crazy acceleration up the slope and maintain the top speed of 18 miles per hour all the way up to the top. However, Mark almost beat me at the end as he is going so fast in the second half. Mark, you have my respect, man. When racing with Nightbolt Max, again, the result is obvious. For both on sports mode, a Motion L9 with 1000 watt motor is way faster than Nightbolt Max with 350 watt motor in acceleration. The further we go, the larger the difference is. I really love the front and the rear suspension design of the Emotion L9. It makes you feel so much more confident when riding on bumpy roads. I have tested on the rocky roads, pavements, grass. It provides a smoother ride than other scooters I've tried. I'm not calling it floating in the air, but my hands is not shaky and I feel safe, which is good enough for me. From the spec sheet, the L9 has a body waterproof rating of IP55 and a battery waterproof rating of IPX7. So I think it's supposed to be able to ride in the light rain or ride over a small pond. So we have tested the L9 in a wet road condition. The grip of the tire is really firm. It's not slippery even hit the full throttle. So I think it's okay to ride in the rain but I don't recommend it to do so because it can be dangerous sometimes. The Emotion L9 features a big battery capacity of 721 watt hour, which is impressive. After a whole day of road test, we just used one part of the battery and according to the app, we still got about 80% battery left. The big battery is also a problem, which is the weight. The L9 weighed almost 40 pounds, which is 20 kilograms. You cannot carry it in arms for too long, but it doesn't kill you just to carry it up and down the stairs for a while. The L9 is priced at $8.99 in retail, but they have launched an Indiegogo campaign where you can pre-order for $5.49, which is a great price and super early bird deal. I have put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. So to wrap up the test, the Emotion L9 has a really great acceleration a 18 miles per hour top speed, which is not insanely fast, but I think it's enough for my daily commute. It has a great brake, it can climb on hills easily, and the suspension makes it really smooth. So I can picture myself using that daily in my future commute. And if I have more experience I want to share, I will update in the future videos. So make sure to subscribe in here, and also, as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.